Hello, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter, and I'm a board-certified neurologist, and I'm also a fellow of the American College of Nutrition. Now, right off the bat, that might sound contradictory. I mean, why would a neurologist care anything about nutrition? Well, it turns out that my exploration of nutrition really came to pass because I was very frustrated as a neurologist. You know, in training as a neurologist and in practicing, it's pretty much diagnose and adios. What does that mean? It means we make a diagnosis, we name the disease, and have very little to offer at that point. In, in truth of fact, a matter, we, we really have nothing to offer patients, for example, with Alzheimer's disease. There is no treatment, uh, there is certainly no cure. Similarly, we find ourselves in the same position in dealing with things like Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis and even autism. But we now understand that the answer to these and other challenging brain disorders isn't in the brain, it may very well lie in the gut. Somebody once asked the bank robber, Slick Willie Sutton, why do you rob banks? And he said, because that's where the money is. So you might think that uh, that's where we should be looking in terms of brain disorders, but we've come up empty-handed uh, thus far. It turns out that our most well-respected leading-edge institutions are looking at the gut and specifically looking at the human microbiome, that collection of 100 trillion organisms that live within your intestines because those bugs that live in your gut are determining every manner of your metabolism that relate to your health and specifically relate to your brain health. We now understand that there are specific patterns of gut bacteria that will actually code for increased inflammation and inflammation is the cornerstone of just about every bad degenerative condition you don't want to get. And this includes other things aside from the brain. It includes things like uh, diabetes and even cancer. So we've got to nurture our gut bacteria. That's what Brain Maker, my new book, is all about. Uh, it is now the number one book in America in terms of brain health because I believe people are desperate for this information, desperate for the knowledge which is empowering to understand that overusage of antibiotics will threaten the gut bacteria. What are the foods that you can start eating? The fermented foods, the kimchi, the kombucha, the cultured yogurt that nurture good bacteria. What are the prebiotic foods, the artichokes, leeks, onions, jicama, Mexican yam that give the gut bacteria what they need to be healthy? This is your key to health. This is your key to brain health. The gut-brain connection is real and it's time we understand how we can leverage that for brain health and longevity.